What's up, everybody? My name is Jay Voss, and welcome back to Need for Speed World. And today, we're not actually playing the game. We're actually here to try to get you guys to play the game. You guys have seemed to, some of you guys seem to be having trouble, and quite frankly, I'm not surprised. I had trouble installing this game. I had to figure it out for myself. So I figured I'd show you guys what I did to get this game running on my computer. But before I do that, I'm doing my gym hunt. We're here today doing this because Dedicate Gamer is having trouble installing the game. And, uh, well, I figured if I could try to help him, I figured I'd try to help everyone else who might be having trouble too. First place you want to go to is SoapboxRace.World. I will leave the link in the description below so you guys can get there yourselves. Obviously, you're going to want to hit this, you're going to download the launcher. And in order to do that, it's going to take you to this. And down here is where you're going to download the... the the folder for it. Yeah, that. I, for some reason, I couldn't get that out. Once you do that, you get up here, and if, depending on what, I don't know which Windows operating system you're using. I'm not sure if they have one for Mac, but if you look at the folder here, you're gonna have this. Obviously, you're gonna want to extract that first. If you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11, like I am right here, you should be able to go ahead and just extract it to a new file location. Which, in this case, it will just take the re new released file folder to here. And what you're going to want to do, before you try to open the launcher, because it won't launch from here, you're going to want to create a folder. Go down here, go to your PC, double click that, and right click wherever, doesn't matter where, where and create a new folder. And name it whatever you want it to, just so you know what it is and what game it is. I'm just going to call this blog because I already have something. I'm going to actually, you know what, I'll name it what I've named it. Which is SBRW, which is abbreviation for Soapbox Race World. Correction, I already have one, so I'm going to name it Soapbox Race World 1. After you've given the folder a name, go ahead and uh, pin it to Quick Access, which is going to put it over here, the side over here. You should be able to see it. I have mine right here. This is the one I just put on there. Once you do that, you should be able to easily take this unzipped folder and drag it there. Go ahead and open up that folder, find the game launcher before you start it, create a shortcut, that way you know where it is. You can have it pin to start or whatnot that's what I did I pit I have it pinned to my start right here but once you have this in that folder you can't put it in the program files folder regardless of how counterintuitive that is it doesn't work there it doesn't work anywhere else that's why I recommend putting it here it worked for me it should work for you now that once you've done that you created a shortcut you can go ahead and open the launcher and this should pop up and it's gonna start working on downloading the game or at least most of the functions once this pops up you go ahead and create your account First, you choose the server you want to be in. I'm Midnight Riders Horizon. That's the one I prefer. It's the one that resembles the original Need for Speed World the most. That's why I love it so much. And I've already created an account, but once you go ahead and register your account, it's going to start downloading the game once you've logged in. And that is a tutorial. This is going to be a relatively short video. I, I didn't expect it to be too long. It's it, it's a fairly simple process once you know how to do it. It took me a little bit to figure it out. This will be the initial screen because you've never created a driver. It's going to tell you to put a name in and all that stuff. Get the idea. I already have a second account just to have fun. This thing is actually phenomenal. So I actually recommend getting the Civic as your first choice. It's the second cheapest car and you can save the rest of your money for upgrades and stuff like I did with this. That is all the time I got for this video, guys. Guys, if this video helped in any way, and if you enjoyed the video, crash into that like button like I just did that taxi. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Shout out to Dedica Dedicated Gamer. I figured I'd help you out, man. You've been on my channel almost since it started. I'm only just about to be reaching 100 subscribers pretty soon. I hope it goes up. I'm just glad that you're part of the, the family. It's nice to have you here, man. And I'm, I'm happy to help where I can. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.